Have you ever wondered how your parachute actually works? When you pull the ripcord, a spring-loaded pilot chute, which is really just a small circular starter parachute, is launched into the air. The flow of air through it allows it to drag and act like an anchor to start the deployment of the reserve parachute. The parachute is pulled out from the top in one long sleeve shape, and the lines are extracted from the container. Then the parachute opens and you transition to sitting upright underneath the canopy. On the two black V-shaped risers near your head are toggles, which are used for steering. As far as using the, the parachute and using the systems uh, accompanied with the parachute, very simple. How to open your parachute. The ripcord handle is located near the chest strap on the wearer's left front of the harness. The key is to look, reach, pull. Look at the ripcord handle rather than fumble or tug on the harness fitting. Beneath the fabric cover, the ripcord handle is held in place by a pocket. Look at it first because it may have been dislodged by your exit. Reach over and grab it with both hands or typically with your right hand and left thumb and pull. Yank it hard. There is no time to be gentle. Actually pulling, which uses the muscles in your forearms, is not as effective as pushing, which takes advantage of your upper arm strength. Uh, the D-ring, I made sure that I pulled, I, I, you know, when I practiced pulling the chute, when I would, uh, before I got in the airplane, I always practiced pushing it at full arm's length. I never, I don't know where the chute disengaged, I don't know, and I let go of the D-ring, so I didn't, I didn't hold on to it. If it doesn't come free on the first pull, check it to make sure it is the handle in your hand, not some other piece of hardware. Back the handle up to the housing to create slack in the cable, then punch it out again. The entire cable assembly should come completely out of the housing. To reduce the pull force, push the handle in the direction that the protective ripcord housing points, rather than straight out from your chest. By having both hands together on the handle, you also reduce the chance of the canopy or lines entangling with an extended limb. Keep your feet together for the same reason. Body position is secondary to pulling. Remember to look, reach, pull. The release of the chute was immediate, and from the time that I released it to the time it opened, obviously I wasn't counting and keeping track, but I was surprised at how quickly it worked. Um, it, it was very quick and very comforting. You could see the stuff unfurling over your head in, in, in almost instantly. It makes a nice big pop and uh, just instantly slows your descent. It's very comfortable. Did you know? Typically, it takes about two to three seconds from ripcord pull to fully inflated canopy, traveling a vertical distance of 150 to 300 feet. 